Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. This is Pixelated Twix, and it's uh, Friday evening. Um, this is a, another late upload, but I was working on uh, another project earlier today, so that's why this upload will be late. I'm going to try to get back on the ball with making sure my uploads are scheduled for 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Um, let's just put it out there. East Coast is the best coast. No? Okay. Well, I think so. All right. So enough of that. We are in the game with Sten popped in and Sten just immediately started talking to us as soon as we arrived to camp. And just to give you a brief synopsis of what happened last week, we went to Soldier's Peak to find out what was going on with the Dryden family and to try to restore their good name. Um, and we found out that there was a whole bunch of stuff going on with Grey Wardens and blood magic and all kinds of riffraff. But we ended up clearing that out, not withholding all the bugs and stuff that was going on, but we fixed that. Yeah, Bioware, yeah, fix your stuff, please. Um, so yeah so now we're here back in camp i'm going to do some chit chat with them for a little bit probably give away some gifts because my inventory is getting fairly full and i really need the space so let's chat it up with with sten um he asked me <laughs> i don't understand you look like a woman there we go what's what's not to understand about that you are a gray warden so it follows that you can't be a woman uh, why not? Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Okay, that's not a very comprehensive list. It really isn't, and that's also not a universal truth. Some women fight. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. But I don't want to be a man. Um, they don't wish to be men. They wish to be women. Who fight? Do they also wish to live on the moon? That's as attainable. I mean, maybe. I'm a woman and I'm fighting. That's all you need to know. One of those things can't be true. Both a are true. Person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Sten is an extreme canary. He does not understand the concept of being able to choose what you do because canary don't. They are your career, so to speak, is assigned when I guess when you're a child and you're trained in that specific career by I, what abilities you show. I'm assuming I I'm really not extremely familiar with canary lore. But as we get further and further into Dragon Age games, uh, a lot of that will be revealed. So let's continue. Um, but a person can choose what to do. Can they? Yes. We'll see. All right. Well, I'm not here to impress you, Sten. I'm not here for you. Oh, yeah. So let's, um, let's talk some folks up and give away gifts. Talk Something Alistair. on your mind? Sure. Oh. Okay. Um. I, I'm gonna exit out of that conversation because I'm not sure yet who I want to romance. Um. I have a couple choices right now. Right now, I have Alistair and Zevran. Um. Yes, so I, I don't know yet. So I, I really don't want to chat with Alice. I guess, I guess I could flirt. There's nothing wrong with flirting, right? I mean, let's flirt. Okay, Let, we can flirt and go from there. Something on your mind? <sighs> I'm stalling. <laughs> I have some questions. Of course. What? can a Templar do exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. 
The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. So can others learn these talents? Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the lyrium trade with the dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Yes. Um, were you addicted to this lyrium? Thankfully, no. You only start receiving lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. Lucky you. All right. Um... Something on your mind? <clears throat> okay. Let's see if there's some more questions we can ask. Of course. Um, how did you become a Great Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? Ha ha, very funny. I do my best. <laughs> what can I say? Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. Hmm. What skills might those be? <laughs> well, it wasn't an easy life, you know. I don't know whether or not you've noticed, but I'm not exactly the Chantry type. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Do you think this is better than being a Templar? Or, yeah. Oh, I suppose the Chantry life is good enough for some. Here, we have the chance to fight against the Blight. To actually do some good instead of sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. I'm... He was a good man. No, it's... Uh, oh, whoops. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be... It's fine. He died a hero. They all did. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Ooh. Okay. Um, let me see if I can talk to him one more time. Something on your mind? Um, has anyone ever told you how handsome you are? Not unless they were asking me for a favor. Well, there was that one time in Denerim, but those women were <laughs> not like you. Why? Um. Is this your way of telling me you think I'm handsome? Uh, ooh, what do I want to say? You know you're handsome. He knows he's handsome. Does he, though? He doesn't really come off as, like, he has an ego. My lips are sealed. Oh, I get it. I'll get it out of you yet. So... Is this the part where I get to say the same? Uh, not unless you don't think so. Oh, I think so. I'll just spring it on you when it's a surprise. <laughs> okay, awesome. That was that went well. All right, let's uh, let's go talk to Stan again. Maybe I can get a little more out of him. You are not quite as callow as I thought. Well, thank you. That is unexpected. <laughs> um, thanks, I guess. You're welcome. So will you tell me now why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. What exactly happened? I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the dark spawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. 
Um, what happened to the other Canari? I am told no others survived. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. What did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Did the farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. And... then? I killed them. With my bare hands. I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. You... That's terrible. I know I cannot justify what I have done. My honor is forfeit. That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter unarmed and alone to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Hmm... Couldn't you search for it? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Where did you fight the Darkspawn? Near Lake Callanhad. Don't worry, we'll find it. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. Here's my thought. Just... Just a moment. I... Maybe I'm wrong, and you can correct me in the comments if you disagree. But I feel like Stan was more worried about the sword than the actual lives of the farmers that he took. Like, he was saying that this sword was an extension of who he was as a soldier, as a Sten. Because Sten isn't his name, it's his, it's his, um, his position. Um... So, as a soldier, this sword, this blade, was who he was, or represented who he was. And without this sword, he couldn't return to his people. So, the lives of the farmers were nothing compared to a lost blade. So, I'm kind of at a, like, at a loss of words. Well, not loss for words, but just, it... <laughs> It's crazy how he cares more for that sword than the life of invaluable, priceless life. But I guess to him, his sword is his life. So I, I, I don't know. But that's my thought. Morgan, I guess we should probably try to do her, her quest before we talk to her again. Let's talk to Liliana. Yes. Um, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. What, yeah, what would someone like you be doing? In t Didn't we ask for this already? But I'll ask again. What is meant by someone like me? Um, let's see. You just don't seem like you belong in a cloister. Oh, let's just, um... They don't teach you how to fight in the cloister, do they? Yeah, let's, that sounds Did better. Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Okay, um, affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. Why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not pride... And you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orle. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Okay. Ah, uh, someone's lying. Uh, let's talk to Severin. Here I am. Hello, Severin. Um, care, t care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Um, 
What does it take to become an assassin? Well, the Crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training, the sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is a desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't take any special skill? I don't know about that. It's simply a slightly different skill set from your average killer, as I see it. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. Hmm. It sounds like it could be useful. I prefer, you know, I kind of prefer the straight up battle. Um, but it could be useful. So that sounds like it could be useful. See, getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Sure. Are you going to teach me some things then? Um, all right. So we're finished talking to Alistair. Are you, oh, yeah, yeah. We can talk to Wen. Let's forget about Wen over here in the corner. So tell me, how did you become a Grey Warden? Well, I drank some blood and took, you know, yada, yada, yada. The short story, I met Duncan and he liked me. No, let's just be honest. Al, 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 oh my gosh. Mr. Howe massacred my family. <laughs> Duncan helped me escape. Arl Rendon Howe? Yes. The Arl of Amaranthine? Yes. Why would he do such a thing to you? Who knows? Uh, who knows? He had always been a friend of us Kuslins. Um, Do I want to tell her I'm the daughter of Bryce Kuslin? Hey, let's, let's be honest. Yes. You are... You are the last of the Kuslins? I had no idea, my lady. Ooh, don't. I'm just a Grey Warden now. Yes, I suppose so. You can no longer have a title, can you? But that does not mean you must forget utterly where you came from. True. Take heart, dear friend. You survived, even when you were not expected to. We do not know yet what lies in store for you, or the name you carry. Hmm. It is not so bad, is it, being a Grey Warden? Well, it's not exactly fun in games. Um, I just hope that I can show the strength Duncan saw in me. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps it was meant to be. She's a very glass half full type person, isn't she? I love her positivity. Okay, let's quickly go through our inventory and give some gifts because we certainly need some space. Um, let's see, blue satin shoes and give these to Liliana. Oh, how dear of you. Why? Thank you you're, so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Um... Andraste's Grace, we'll give that. Ooh. No, no, terrible. Sorry, didn't mean to give that to you. Flowers? For me? Oh. They smell lovely, and there's something so familiar about them. These, these were my mother's flowers. She would sprinkle the dry petals amongst her clothes. Oh, they smell just like her. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She really liked that. Cool. All right. Um, let's keep it rolling. Let's see. The, yeah, the Guerins of Ferelden. Let's kind of go in order. What do we have for Zevran? Do we have anything for Zevran? I don't think we do. Okay. Um, what about when? This, yes. A generous gift. You're welcome. Thank you ever so much. You're very welcome. Oh, and the wine. Oh, marvelous. Sure. All right. Uh, let's see. Augie, we're going to give you this lamb bone. Um, Stan. 
we can give you nothing. <laughs> can we give you these steel bracers? You have my thanks. Okay. Not really your thing, was it? Alistair, let's give you this dragon statue. Is that for me? Yes. Really? Mm hmm Wow. I'm... Wow. You're welcome. Um, Morgan, let's give you this tribal necklace. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what about this bracelet? Interesting. Nope. Guess that was kind of a waste. Uh, right. Uh, last but not least, Liliana, we can give you, that's, that's Alaria, this sort of receipt. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do we have any... We don't have anything for you. Wow, you are severely lacking, child. You need a belt and some rings and some gloves. Do we have anything for you? We don't have a thing. Oh, wow. Okay, well, no wonder you're dying a lot. All right. On to the next. I think um, we will head over to... What did we need to do? Okay, we have the Urn of Sacred Ashes. We can go ahead and do that, which I'm thinking that's probably something that we should do next because we did one side quest. Um, what's this? The Circle of Magi. Okay, Watch Guard Reaching. Um... The notes of Apprentice Gan have revealed an ancient ritual in the Circle Tower. It begins in this great hall. Oh, okay, I was, I think I was doing that. Um, we have these mage collectives, but these kind of, you can find them as you go along. So, what is this? Okay. So we've done these. No, we haven't. Okay, let's go ahead and do the urn of sacred ashes um so find the urn of sacred ashes medicine and magic have failed to cure arl eman who slips closer to death each day you have been told that the urn of sacred ashes containing the ashes of the maker's prophet andraste has legendary healing powers lady isold sent her knights out in search of the urn but so far they have returned empty-handed if all Eamon is to have any hope of recovering, Andraste's ashes must be found. Locate the Chantry scholar, Brother Gen Genitivi in Denarum. He is the only man in Ferelden who is actively researching the urn and will um, uh, have important knowledge to share with you. Okay, Alistair has a companion quest in Denarum as well. So let's kill two birds with one stone. Go talk to, um, to Brother Genitivi and Alistair's sister. So we're going to grab yes. him. Uh, let's scrub Zephyrin. Yes. And let's... Of all the... Let's grab what, um, you. What is your name? Morgan? <laughs> uh, so off to dinner when we go. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Just go straight to dinner. Dang it. 